Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Danny and Mike from Brass Monkey Tattoo. I threatened to sing the song. I'm going to save everybody and not do that. Nobody wants to hear me. I mean, we do want to hear the Beastie Boys, but nobody wants to hear me sing the song. Let's talk about Brass Monkey Tattoo Company. Tell me why you guys started Brass Monkey Tattoo. Well, we, uh, we both have been tattooing for a little while now, and at a certain point, we just decided we needed to do our own thing. And uh, we started the business, and things are going great. Yeah, we were both um, in a stage where we had a lot of other stuff going on in our life, because I go to school, too. I go to BGSU, mm -hmm. so I'm a student. And then tattooing, and then Beyonce and everything. It's put everything together. It's just busy all the time, so. Let's talk about tattoos. If, I'm, if I want to get a tattoo, what's the first step in getting a tattoo? Uh, What's the, the first, first thing I should do. The first thing you should do is you should you should find a tattoo shop. You should go to it. Yeah. You should make sure it's clean. You should feel comfortable in the tattoo shop. If you don't, you should get out of there. <laughs> make yes. sure make sure yes. the tattoo shop is not a kitchen table at somebody's house. That is a good call. I think if you go in and For it safety. looks like this. Yeah, you not. should run. This yes. is not the place you want to get a tattoo no, right no, here at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> you want to feel comfortable, like he said. You want to, you want to feel like, hey, I could sit in here for hours and hang out with these guys. You don't want to feel like everything is uncomfortable and this guy is weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want, you want to feel comfortable with, with their customer service. You want to feel comfortable with that, the, the actual, you know, the place, the location itself, uh, everything. You know, tattoo artists are artists, and I Absolutely. think that's really important for people oh, yeah. to, you know, there used to be kind of a stigma, and there isn't anymore. You know, right. there are lots of people, like myself, who have tattoos. I mean, lots right. of 40-ish <coughs> women <laughs> who have tattoos. That's 36. just Yes, 29, <laughs> something like that, that have tattoos. And, and so it really, I mean, it's, you guys are artists. Um, if I come in and I don't know what I want, you you will help me. Absolutely. You will create something for me, right? Abs absolutely. The best thing to do is come in with an idea, some kind of general mm -hmm. idea, um, and that you do have to be a little open to the artist's interpretation mm -hmm. of your idea. I um, mean, even when they bring pictures like other tattoos or, sure. or stuff they like, that helps. But even if I bring a picture, I still need to be open to the Absolutely. artist because you are artists. I can't bring you a picture and say, I need you to recreate this exactly. I mean, well, it's, it's possible, but it's better to be okay with the artist's uh, interpretation of it. Absolutely. Okay, so let's back up for a minute because you said, you know, you got to be comfortable with the person. Yes. You have to look for the cleanliness for sure. So give me some some actual things I can look for. I mean, are there certifications when I walk into, I mean, when I come into your place, what, what am I looking for that tells me this is the right place I should be? Well, the first thing you do is make sure they have a health department license. Okay. Because um, that's important. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, they don't get out of there too. <laughs> yeah. Run, run, really fast. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of other regulations that are there, so you kind of got to uh, look at it on your own and make sure that you, again, they, more or less that you feel comfortable with it. Um, it can't be dirty at all. It, it needs to. It needs to feel clean. Okay. So. You got to have gloves on. You know what I mean for everything, and you you just can't have. It just can't be dirty. You can't have people smoking in there and no animals and stuff like that. I got to tell you, I think if I walked into, I just, that's unfathomable to me. If I walked into a tattoo shop that somebody would have an animal in it. I've seen them have animals and smoking and everything. So. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Okay. So when I come into the Brass Monkey Tattoo Company, tell me what I'm going to say. And let's look, we've got some pictures too I want to show. Um, I didn't, these are pictures of tattoos you guys have done. Um, that's Josh. Josh, our artist, did that one. That's really pretty. So when I come into Brass Monkey, these are pictures there in the shop. Tell me what I'm going to see. Give me what the experience is going to be like when I walk it's into be really your cool. place. <laughs> You're going to feel very welcome when you walk in there. Someone's going to say something to you. They're going to say, how are you doing? What, are you here to see somebody? What can we help you with? And, you know, and I usually like let people give them a little tour of the place mm -hmm. and show them where our clean room is and just show them everyone's room because everyone takes pride in their rooms and everyone decorates everything really nice and the lobby looks really nice. And well, let's back up for a second. You said everyone takes pride in their rooms. So they're individual rooms. So I'm not, I won't have to be out like 
No, I mean... It's not no. like public display. For uh, no, him. absolutely not. You can watch a movie while you're getting tattooed. Like, I'll say, you want to watch a movie, you want to listen to some music, you want to relax, or do you want your people you brought with you to just drive you crazy? What do you... You know, it's, it's up to them. So. Because the truth is, I mean, oh, look, aren't you guys that's, cool? That's the lot here. That's, <laughs> that's a, that's a cool... Photo by three by that's one. That's a cool... cool photo photo by three by one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice picture, Nick. Good work. Um, the, it's not, I mean... Even the best tattoo artists, I mean, it is a somewhat painful procedure. You know, oh, it, yeah. it Getting hurts. Tattooed. Let's, oh, let's just absolutely. be honest. It hurts to oh, get I tattooed. It. <laughs> so um, it, it's nice that you can have, you can make it as comfortable as whatever yeah. makes you comfortable. Oh, sure. You can do that. Well, some people have never had a tattoo before. Mm -hmm. and so it's a, it's a really personal, intimate experience as well. And I think a lot of people forget that. And so you have to... You have to be able to, to deal with that and with the customer and make that person feel comfortable as well. So. Especially if they're scared to death. Yeah, that well, happens right. a lot. Especially if it's somebody getting one for the first time. I mean, that that's kind of scary. Absolutely, absolutely. I like the fact that it is in everybody has their own space. Okay, let's talk about Brass Monkey Tattoo Company. Where is it, and what are your hours? Uh, 3150 Westsylvania Avenue. Okay. Uh, about two three blocks east of Secor. Uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, noon to 10 p.m., and then Sunday, noon to 6. Can people walk in, or should they make an appointment? How does that work? If it's a smaller tattoo, you can just walk in, and it's something we can do on the spot, most likely. Uh, if it's something bigger that you want done, then an appointment probably would be better. All right. Brass Monkey Tattoo Company, they can make it work for you today. Great artists, and it's just a cool place. Check it out today. We'll be right back on Better Living.